Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do a quick overview on what is risk management. So in school, when I was doing finance, as well as financial engineering and applied economics, I didn't really understand what risk management was. I just had this kind of fuzzy idea, but somehow I ended up in risk management. And so today I'm gonna to discuss quickly and briefly what is risk management. So risk management is just calculating losses for different areas of the business. So typically there are four categories of risk, which are credit risk, market risk, operational risk, and PP&R. The entire goal of risk management is to build models that will model out your risk or how many losses you will have. And then sometimes these are actually used to figure out how to reduce your losses. But a lot of times risk management is just measuring the amount of losses in total. And then senior management will take these numbers and hopefully go back to the businesses and explain to them that you have large losses because of X, Y, and Z. So quick examples of market risk. Everybody knows this. They do like a quick value at risk curve and they say, okay, based on your VAR or your value at risk, this is your expected losses. People get that, they understand that. But there's other types of risks involved in market risk as well, such as liquidity risk. Moving on, you have credit risk. Credit risk is probably the most understood type of risk out there. Uh, it's simply, if you make a loan to person X, Y, and Z, uh, what are your expected losses? So there's a simple equation for calculating your expected loss, which is your probability of default times your exposure at default times your loss given default. Each one of these three components are actually modelable, meaning you can model your probability of default, which banks do, then they model your loss given default, and then they model your exposure at default. You multiply them together and you get your expected losses. Again, doing this risk management, it'll take into account different variables to model each one of these. So probability of default, you might think about like, what is your FICO score? How many times has this customer defaulted in the last 90 days? How many times has this customer gone delinquent in the last you know, 120 days? There's always some measure, some bureau data, some internal data in credit models that help you determine your probability of default, your loss given default, and your exposure at default. So operational risk quickly is just more or less how is the bank losing money in operations? So examples of operational risk are somebody accidentally trades and they make a mistake. So maybe you're trading 100 shares of Tesla Motors, but you accidentally hit too many zeros and you're selling a million shares of Tesla Motors, right? It happens, people have theorized that's what caused the flash crash, but again, that's an operational risk. Lawsuits, if your bank is sued for some reason, that's an operational risk. You have to model these in. Operational risks are very difficult to model because you typically have very sparse data. You have only one or two observations in a long period of time but those little one or two events are large losses. So if you have a massive lawsuit for like a $50 million lawsuit, it's gonna happen once. And then a year, two, three, four, five, six years might go by and you have no events. And so modeling operational risk is difficult because you don't have a lot of data. And finally, PPNR, which is pre-provisional net revenue. Uh, this is basically like modeling your accounting, modeling your balance sheet and your income statement. This can be used for helping you plan budgets. So how is your business going to operate? It is also used in CCAR to see how different accounts will be affected by different economic scenarios. So an example of PPNR would be an expense account or an income account. So these are on the income statement, but again, you have to model during a crisis, do for example, fees go up, do fees go down? Do we make a lot of revenue on fees? You have to model these different things and look at the economy and how those impact your fees. So anyways, guys, that's a quick overview of risk management. I hope you realize it's just measuring losses. These will be used to figure out how to better improve your business. Um, the models themselves, the variables that go into the model will provide insight on exactly how to reduce your risk based on the models. But again, this takes a lot of logic besides statistics. You have to think, does this really make sense? Is this variable really driving losses or are we just regressing things because there's a correlation? Anyways guys, that's risk management in a nutshell. I hope you like it. If you do, hit the subscribe button below. And as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.